Hi, good evening everyone. I think now we can start because it's already 6 10 pm. So today we are going to solve our week 7 assignment from the physics of renewable energy. And if you are new, I just want to tell you I'm Ravi Kumar, a research scholar at IIT Bombay. So let's proceed with the first question which says the electric field at a point in space due to stationary charge Q can be expressed as. So these are the options. You just need to tell me the formula or the expression for electric field. These are the options. So A, B, C and D, which of them represents the electric field or formula for electric field? Can anybody confirm by writing in the chat if I am audible to you? Everything is fine. Okay, thanks. So you just need to tell me the formula for electric field. A, B, C or D. It's very simple. B. Okay, I don't know the name of the student who is writing the chat. May I know your name? Only roll number is there. He is right actually. He is saying, I don't know actually he or she, but that's correct. Option B. You can see this is the formula for electrostatic force. And our electric field is defined as E force divided by Q. So if you just divide by Q, then it will be K E Q2 upon R square. Q2 is here and this Ke can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. So yes, option B is correct. Let's move to the next question which says compared to batteries the limitation of a supercapacitor R. These are the options. You just need to tell me the limitation of supercapacitor among the four options. If supercapacitor is a low energy density device, low cycling stability device, high internal loss device or higher cost device. 
विच ऑप्शन बिलोंग्स टू दिस सुपर कैपेसिटर I hope you have already completed your lectures from week seven. Abhi Rami saying higher post. Okay. Have you completed your lectures? A few, one, two, nothing, all. you can speak or either you can write in chat box if you will interact this class will be more interesting you don't know actually okay it's fine so have you seen this table so from the table you can see just go one by one low energy density go with the energy density this is the energy density part so the energy de energy density of super capacitor is low or battery is low super capacitor so first limitation will be low energy density second says low cycling stability cycles cycles of a battery is more or a super capacitor is more super capacitor is more so it is not low cycling stability it is higher cycle it is having higher cycle rather than like you can see this is 10 raised to power 6 this is 10 raised to power 3 only so low cycling stability is wrong now next says high internal loss high internal loss then there should be self discharge so self discharge time for battery is in months while for a super capacitor it's week to month so yes high internal loss capacity higher cost no super capacitors are not costly even lithium ion batteries are also costly so this option is not correct so our answer will be a and c okay let's move to the next question question number three it says modified ampere slow introduced by maxwell is given by so these are the options which one equation represents the modified ampere slow introduced by maxwell a b c d D. How can it be D? Abiram, you are right, you are wrong. Sorry, Abirami. Sorry, you are wrong. Just understand what is why this Maxwell gave this modified ampere slow because he is defining the current passing through a capacitor. If this is a parallel plate capacitor. And there is no current is flowing. What did he say? He what did this Maxwell equation tell us about? It tells about that current is passing, but that is not a normal current. That is a displacement current. So from which equation we can see where this displacement current is there? A, B, C, or D? Here it is written D only. It's fine. That also say displacement current. So yes. Here also you can see modified ampere slow from the lecture only. So this says this one the modified ampere slow given by Maxwell. So from here we can see option B is the correct answer. it means you have not gone through the lectures yet it's fine but go with the like timetable which you are having question four it says 
द स्पेसिफिक कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ ए सुपर कैपेसिटर कैन बी इम्प्रूव दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल दीज आर द ऑप्शन हाउ कैन वी इंक्रीज द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ ए सुपर कैपेसिटर और इवन इज कैपेसिटर For your kind information, these are the plates. Electrode plates and area we are talking about this and distance we are talking about this. Someone saying option D. Decreasing the separation between the electrodes. Okay. What about area of electrodes? Any comment regarding this area of electrodes? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. So see, this is a capacitor. And the capacitance is represented as this C epsilon A upon D. So if C is we need to increase C, then we can increase the A or we can decrease the D. So by increasing the electrode area, yes. By decreasing the area of electrode, no. By increasing the separation between the electrode, no. By decreasing the separation of the electrode, yes. So A and D are the correct answers. Let's move to the next question which says the typical energy density values of a super capacitor are in the range of these are the options. Is it less than 0 0.1 watt hour per kg? 1 to 10 watt hour per kg? 100 to 1000 watt per hour, watt hour per kg? or it is more than 1000 watt hour per kg A, B, C or D Here only one option is correct but you just need to tell me which one B Someone is saying B This is the table for your reference. Abhirami is also saying B. Yes, you can see energy density here. So, specific energy means per kg, what hour per kg here, the third one. So, here you can see it is 1 to 10. So yes, B is the correct answer. Let's move to the next question, which says the value of electric field generated by an ideally polarized electric double layer across a plain metal electrode interface at 2 volt. Consider the distance between the hydrogen cation is 3.8 Armstrong. These are the options. Very simple. I am giving you two minutes. Just solve it and let me know the answer. For your help, I am giving you a hint. Electric field will be just V divided by D. And here, what is V and what is D? Only two quantity are given. So you can see 
v is 2 volt and d is 3.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 meter. Sir, in the final examination, numerical question is there. Yes, maybe. But this is not a big numerical. This is very simple. Na? Even this is out of the scope from the numerical. Just divide 2 divided by 3.8. 10 to the power minus 8 volt per centimeter. Divide it and let me know the answer. Abhiram is saying A. What others are doing? Are they solving or they are just listening? Yes, Abhirami, you are correct. A. A is the correct answer for this question. Rahul Kumar, yes, A is the correct answer. Okay, let's move to the next question, which says the concept of inner and outer Helmholtz layer was given by, these are the options, A, B, C, D, Eastern Helmholtz, Goya Chapman or Volta? Okay, this is the Eastern model. What does it say? Eastern combined the proposition of the earlier two mentioned models. Just it says the double layer was divided into two parts IHL and OHL, inner Helmholtz layer and outer Helmholtz layer. So, option A is the correct answer. Yes, A. Let's move to the next question. It says on a Ragon plot where a capacitor lies. Based on the properties. You must know this is a Ragon plot and here we have power density and here we have energy density. Rahul Kumar saying B means low energy density and high power density. Yes, pH 205B. Rahul Kumar Sarma. Okay, Sharma. Rahul Kumar Sarma. It's okay. Fine. Option B is the correct answer. Yes. This is the chart which I am talking about. Ragon plot. Here you can see this is the position of capacitor. It is having high power density but low energy density. So correct answer here is option B. Let's move to the next question. It says for an electric field, choose the correct. Very simple. You must know electric field lines, 
so you just tell me the correct option here regarding this electric field it is that electric field lines if more concentrated then the electric field will be stronger or weaker a b rami saying c means direction of the electric field will be from positive to negative okay and what about the concentrated lines will it represent the weaker field or the stronger field okay ps205 is also saying d so the combination will be b and c Hmm. B and C, okay. For your kind information, this is the snap from the lecture only. You can see the direction of electric field is given by arrows. These are from positive to negative. And the more concentrated lines, the stronger is the field. Yes. Correct answer is B and C. Let's move to the very interesting question. And very simple numerical. The electrostatic force on a small sphere of charge, one charge is 0 0.4 microcoulomb, due to another small sphere of charge, minus 0.8 microcoulomb, in air is 0 0.2 Newton. So the force between these two charges is 0 0.2 Newton. You just need to calculate the distance between these two charges. Very simple. And these are the options. I am giving you 5 minutes. Just carry out this numerical. If you need any hint, let me know. If you need any formula, just tell me. Rahul Kumar Sharma is saying B 0 0.16 meter. Okay. So one student saying this one. For your kind information Rahul, you can recheck your calculation. Abhirami saying C. Even I have completed the calculation. Okay, I am giving the formula. The electrostatic force given 0 0.2 Newton and these are the forces and this is the formula. You just need to calculate this R. We 
now just put these values and calculate Okay, I will just show you the calculation. So this 1 upon 4 pi epsilon equals to 9 into 10 as to 9 Newton per meter square per coulomb. So if you will just put it here, rearrange it, rearrange it and just put it here and just write 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 0 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 9 into 10 to the power 9 divided by 0 0.2. You will get r square equals to 0 0.0144 and r will be under root of 0 0.0144 which will be equal to 0 0.14 meter I hope this is fine so R will be 0 0.12 meter so answer for this question will be A any confusion here okay fine so let's move to the next question which that is the last question for today it says find the equivalent capacitance between a and b if each capacitor is of 2 microfarad these are the options and this is the circuit diagram you just need to tell me You just need to tell me the equivalent circuit. Nothing is there. This one is a B. I am saying this is a circuit diagram and these are the capacitors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and these are the point A and B. You just need to calculate the equivalent capacitance of this circuit between this terminal A and B. The basics is that if two capacitors are in series, if this one C1, C2, then C equivalent will be 1 upon C, 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2. And if they are in parallel combination like this, then it will be C equals to C1 plus C2. You just need to use these two facts if there are series connection or if there are parallel connection then add them accordingly and here c value is 2 microfarad even just left leave this microfarad consider it 2 
if you are still not getting let me redraw this diagram let's say this is the point a and this is one capacitor and this one is another capacitor and here also we can see this one is another capacitor and we can see b but in between what we have we have a parallel capacitor here right and then we have one capacitor like this and a final capacitor like this this one is the diagram if this is 2 and this is 2 then this will be added up it will be 4 microfarad single and this one is 4 or this one is 2 then it will be 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 how much it will be you can say like this 4 1 plus 2 3 by 4 or you can say 4 by 3 so the combination of these 3 will be 4 by 3 and then you just adding this to 4 by 3 plus 2 equals to Ten by three, and then one in series. So three by ten plus one by two, and plus we have this capacitor also. This is also in parallel. Then this one two. So if you will solve it, so you will get what will you get? You will get thirteen by four microfarad. The value is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, or 2. If you are not able to understand what you can do, you can rewrite this circuit again and then reduce two pair of capacitor, then rewrite it again, then reduce it again. So, by doing this, you will reach the solution that will be 13 by 4 microfarad. So answer will be B. The basic here is just two capacitor in series will be how they how will you just find the equivalent for the capacitor in series and how will you calculate the equivalent capacitance for a capacitor in parallel. So okay, we are done with today today's assignment. I am uploading these videos on YouTube and all the previous six assignments videos are also uploaded there. If you have any question you can ask in comment as well. Thanks for attending. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Start completing your lectures. If you haven't done, thanks everyone. Bye bye. Take care. Yes, it's Rahul. You can ask.
is there are loads of question in assignment number six yeah there are around 15 questions in assignment six which has been solved by me even from starting from assignment 0 to assignment 6 already uploaded there you can go through once some of them are tough which one are tough means you are talking about all the questions covered by me or are not covered by me Okay, I am understanding your point. You are saying those questions are tough for you. Okay. So, I am just asking you, those questions have been solved by me or not? Have you gone through the assignment 6, the video uploaded on the YouTube? no okay so i will just request you to go through the lecture 6 or assignment 6 video and if you have any doubt regarding any question you can write in the chat box there or comment box there is it fine okay Okay then have a nice day. Bye bye. Happy learning.